Hi. So today we're going to learn how to answer the activity worksheet using Google Sheet. And since we have uh, downloaded it, we'll just open it with the Google Sheet offline. So this is a perfect example of how students can save from buying load on Google Classroom offline. Okay, so the purpose of the learning module system is to gain competence. Okay, maybe we have knowledge already on how to make the activities presented table which is needed for our gun chart. We know how to write it in paper using pen. But in this LMS, we are going to to master the competency or the skill of doing it using the latest technology which is computer. So now we're going to use the free version of the Excel which is the Google Sheet. Okay, so let's go. So since we have saved already our activities work worksheet, so let's open Google Sheets which is here. So let's open it there. So what we'll do is to recreate this table. A precedence table shows these columns, the tasks from project launching, gathering business information up to maintenance. It has the days in duration, for example, project launching at 7 days, and gather business info for 14 days. When is the start date? So let's go. So if you have this number pad, you just click the keyboard on pad so then we can start typing schedule of activities followed by the start date colon so and the start date here the 7th of September so here so we write it okay 7th of September 2020 good now we recreate the the columns so we have the we have the task followed by the start date of each activity followed by the duration in days and the end date of each activities okay now we're ready to encode the activities so we start with project launching and it's seven days followed by gather business info or survey and which is 14 days so let me finish it now for the starting date so it is the assigned starting date that's the formula so let's uh, go right in equals the starting date good so what is the end date the end date is the starting date plus the the one in red seven days the days of the duration minus one why is it minus one the seven days includes the starting date so that's why it's minus one okay so let's put it there equals the starting date plus the duration minus one okay it's correct so the 13th so the, the, the second activity of course it starts after the first activity so that means it's the 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 starting date plus duration there you see it's 14 not 13 the end date equals the beginning date plus the duration minus one because it includes the starting date okay now that is correct now you can see you can have the competence or the skill to create a precedence table of activities 
using worksheet because it's automated so if you already have that formula then we can just autofill it's here autofill there and also this one we autofill there so okay so is it correct so we start the we start the last activity 30 30 the same so and then we end at the 29th <laughs> so now that we have finished it it actually is automatically saved let's quit we see that it's offline then we we again uh, see it here there so it's saved so that means from here from our saved files we can just uh, simply attach this to our GC or to the Google Classroom to turn it in so that our professor can grade it. So now we do not only know, we do not only know how to do a precedence table, we can actually do it using the latest technology of Google Sheet, which is the free version of the MS Excel uh, spreadsheet. Okay. There, so we learn a new thing today which is to do an offline uh, work with Google Sheet we have gained confidence on how to do a precedence table of activities worksheet and it's saved then we can attach it to be submitted to our uh, Google Classroom or Messenger group chat for our professor to grade us Thanks for joining in our Google Classroom. If you like this video, so you press the subscribe and like button here so you'll get notified for our next learning video. Thank you very much.